What is a flash loan, you ask? Well, a flash loan is simply a smart contract that creates a loan in cryptocurrency where you can borrow millions of dollars with absolutely no collateral. The catch is you must pay the flash loan back in the same transaction that you bought it with. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, where we explain complicated cryptocurrency topics in a way that makes them so easy to understand that your grandmother could write a book about it. Well, maybe not, but that seems to be in line with our slogan. We use analogies, stories, and examples to teach the everyday person about crypto topics so that way the technology can keep growing. And in this video, we are going to explain what a flash loan is and what the purposes of it are. Let's dig in. So like I said at the beginning, a flash loan is simply a loan where you can borrow massive amounts of money for free, but you must pay it back almost immediately. How can we do this? Well, we can borrow some money, do some transactions with it using some code that we wrote, have a computer check if by the end of all of those transactions that we will actually have enough money to pay it back, and then if we can pay it back, we will successfully borrow the money for a short period of time, do what we wanted to do with that money, and then pay it back. When I say a short period of time, I mean like 13 seconds, because that's about how long an Ethereum block takes to be validated. Now right now, currently there are around three main uses of a flash loan. We're going to cover all three in this video, but if you're in this far and you already understand what a flash loan is, consider leaving us a like and subscribing, because that means we've done our job well. Flash loan purpose number one, trading arbitrage. Imagine a situation where you could buy an apple for a dollar from your mom and then sell that apple to your dad for two dollars. You could easily double your money. You just keep taking the money that you have and doubling it. Well, this is exactly what trading arbitrage is, except in the case of cryptocurrency, you might be able to buy the basic attention token for $100 at Coinbase and then turn around and sell it to Gemini for $101, making a single dollar of profit. However, with flash loans, you can borrow $100 million of money that is not yours to do this trade over and over and over again. Let's go through that example. Let's say you bought $100 million worth of basic attention token on Coinbase and then sold it to Gemini for $101 million dollars making a really nice $1 million profit. However, the platform that you borrowed it from does charge you a very small fee for using their money. Since it's a very short period of time, they only charge you a small amount. I think Aave charges 0.09%, so that would only be a $9,000 fee. <laughs> a $9,000 fee to borrow $100 million. This is one of the most common uses of a flash loan, and you should know that it didn't take long for people to write automatic bots or automated systems that did this automatically for them. This is why it's now rare to be able to create a flash loan that takes advantage of a trading arbitrage. However, you should know that it is possible. Use number two is collateral swap. Now this one has less potential for profit, but creates a useful tool for those borrowing and lending. Let's say you had half a million dollars in Ethereum that you were lending out. You did that so you could earn interest. And because of this, you borrowed 400,000 of DAI, which is a stable coin. Maybe you wanted to trade that ETH for something else. Well, you would have to pay back your DAI to be able to get access to that Ethereum, so then you could trade it to something else and then deposit that new coin back into the lending platform where you could then again borrow back your $400,000. If you used a flash loan, you could do all of this at once instead of using multiple steps. So maybe you're less bullish on Ethereum and you want to trade out your collateral to an Ethereum version of Litecoin instead. You could simply write a flash loan that borrowed money to pay back your loan, swap out your Ethereum for Litecoin, and then deposit it back, and that way you essentially changed out your collateral without touching the true $400,000 that you borrowed. Purpose number three is self-liquidation. So let's say you deposited around 100 Ethereum into Aave, which is a lending platform about a year ago. At that time, it was worth $200 each. So basically, you deposited $20,000 worth of Ethereum. You did this because you were bullish on Ethereum and you thought it would go up. Plus, you definitely wanted to earn some free interest on it. However, at the time you needed the money, so you took out a loan based on your Ethereum. You took out $16,000 in Tether. You transferred it to your bank account and then cashed it out so that way you could pay bills. Well, let's fast forward to now. Now Ethereum is worth $2,000 each, so you still have $200,000 worth of Ethereum locked up as collateral. But now it's worth way more and you want immediate access to it. So what you do is you have to pay back the original loan of $16,000. However, you don't have any tether because it's been a year and you paid bills with it. So what you do is you take out a flash loan of $16,000 of tether to repay your loan and then get access to your initial 100 Ethereum. Then you immediately take some of that Ethereum, convert it to tether and use that tether to repay your original loan. So now you have withdrawn around $184,000 worth of Ethereum without actually putting any of your own money up front. 
You liquidated yourself. This is the third use of a flash loan. You borrowed $16,000 in one transaction and used code so that you could pay it back in the same transaction. Now, of course, there were fees, but now you have $184,000 worth of Ethereum sitting in your cryptocurrency wallet. The next thing I want to talk about is something very important. It's called flash loan attacks. So flash loans can actually be used to exploit vulnerabilities in certain smart contracts. For example, someone found out that there was a bug in the Pancake Bunny protocol. If you don't know already, Pancake Bunny is a yield farm that pays users in Pancake Bunny for users lending their coins and tokens. In short, there was a bug that the exploiters found that created a lot of Pancake Bunny tokens. So what did they do? These exploiters borrowed around $700 million, used it to exploit Pancake Bunny, and then paid it all back in one transaction. Well, what did they end up with? They found a way to mint 7 million Pancake Bunny tokens, and then immediately sold them, earning them a nice $45 million dollars. In short, they borrowed $700 million for free, used it to exploit a bug that gave them $45 million, and then paid back the original $700 million. This is one of the ongoing risks with cryptocurrencies. Bugs and exploits can be in the code, and flash loans allow attackers to maximize those bugs. Many people on the outside looking in may think that this should be illegal, that it shouldn't be allowed. However, there are actually many developers who believe it is totally legal and ethical, because it was just a bug in the code. Anyone could have found it, including the developers who created Pancake Bunny. We want to know your thoughts. What do you think? Leave a comment below if you think this is moral and ethical. As we end this video, we hope that you enjoyed it, and most importantly, we hope that you learned something about flash loans. If you did, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.